going to give you some of my muscle relaxants. My groin's <laughs> is it? So you're feeling it? <laughs> bit woo. All right, so we're back. This time we're going to do something a little bit different for this morning. Obviously, you're going to have your breakfast exercises. Good for you for that. But we're also going to add in, as for the first time we've done this, is a technique video, okay? Now, technique, we're going to explain it once, why it's of fundamental importance. We're going to do it really quick, then we're going to go straight into the movement. Charlotte Dugmore, over to you, why is technique important? If you get the technique right, it means that you're using all your muscles, a full range of motion through your joints, the muscles are working the right way, and you're going to get the most out of your workout. So right, getting a nice deep squat is going to burn way more calories than doing like a semi-squat. Now we know that when we correct your form, we know that you're trying. Off, you know, you're not straight away going to get it right every time, but just be aware of what it should look like and that you're working towards that perfection every time. Yeah. Over time, you will get there. And something that Charlotte missed out on, um, probably by mistake, but I'll correct her on that, is uh, injuries. That yeah, too. she's pissed off now. But yeah, if you Damn don't it. get good form, get good injuries. And uh, to like, uh, my, well, not get good form, get good if, injuries. Yeah, get if you're good form, get regularly doing it wrong, you're more yeah. likely, more susceptible to getting That's an right, injury. Because the pressure goes into the wrong part of the body. So the first one today that we're going to go for is the press up. This is something that we see screwed up again and again and again. And this is a, this is a it's, people don't realize it's a power move, the press up, to manipulate your own body weight down and up with a good full range of motion. It's so tough. we're going to, it's tough. So we're going to show you the correct way to do it, uh, and we're going to show you the wrong way to do it, and then we want you to work towards, obviously, the former. Okay, so you're going to put your hands under your shoulders, okay? A lot of people press up with their hands very close together like this, not right. Too far out, again, it's a bit weird, okay? You don't get a full range of motion. So hands under the shoulders, okay? The main part about the press up move, well, there's, let's say there's two parts. Uh, the, 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 main, the main criminal uh, in terms of bad form is that the, the hips fall before the shoulders. Let's see what that looks like, Charlotte. Okay, so you go like that and then the hips rise before the shoulders. Okay, the reason why you do that is because it's easier. Okay, if you leave your arms straight and let your hips fall and then slowly lower yourself down and then you push your chest up there and then bring your hips up second, you're, letting, you're, you're, you're reducing the amount of pressure through the chest. Okay, and you're also increasing the pressure through the discs. So for those two reasons, we don't want to do it. How do we correct it? We, we slow it down and we say that hips and shoulders must fall at the same speed, like a flat line. Imagine there's a line here and here connecting and they fall down and up at the same speed. Now, let's say you can't do that full range press up there on your toes. All you're going to do is put your knees down. Your knees down one and a half feet behind the hips. Can I just see what it looks like when, you, when your knees are under the hips? It looks really stupid. It looks like you're... It looks like you're praying or like a dog having a sip of water on a coastal resort in the south of Spain. Okay, so this here, okay, have your knees a foot and a half behind your hips and then you let your chest and hips fall at the same speed, shoulders and hips fall at the same speed. That is deep, or well, that is also very, very good. One more thing before we carry on, okay? When you think of press up, don't worry about the number of reps. It doesn't matter if you do 70 or 17 or seven, okay? The main thing is the range of motion that Charlotte mentioned earlier on, okay? If you look here, all the way down, it's a good foot and a half down. Get your chest nice and low and then all the way up. That is the press up form. Uh, so please, when you're coming into class, take the foot off the accelerator. Don't worry about the fact the person next to you is doing 55 press ups, it makes no difference. Just do small numbers of correct press ups and gradually build them up over time. Before you know it, you'll be uh, moving on and uh, advancing through. Yep. All right, well, thank you very much. Cool. Bye.